creating a quiz using quizzes, you are going to click this button here on top which says create a quiz or here on the left side. So you click on that and then this will appear. So type in your quiz name in this box. And, and then click the relevant subject. So I just click on the button other and then click next. So these are the types of questions which you can create. Now I'll be choosing first multiple choice. So I that means that I will create questions which have multiple choice answers. And this will appear if you click on the multiple choice button. I'll be writing my I'll be typing in my first question. then for my option, I want my students to see an image instead of words. So, if I'm just going to use uh, words, I can just type the, the choices here. Since I would like my students to see an image as the to see images as the options, so I'll be clicking on this one which says add image and then this will appear you just need to drag the uh, file here or click the plus button so that you can add the image the image so i'll just drag okay you can see here that the that the image is being uploaded so i will go to the next option So here on the right uh, side of the screen, you can see how the question will appear and how the choices will appear. And then you may set the time allotted for the for the students to answer each question so you have choices here the shortest is five seconds and the longest is 15 minutes so for now i'll just click on 30 seconds and then if you're done with the first question click save oh wait i for yes i forgot that you will check here you will check here the correct answer so you're going to put a check mark on the option which has the correct answer so this is the correct answer and then click save so there you already have your first question for your quiz if you would like to add another number in your quiz so here choose once again if you're going to create a multiple choice um, question you're going to use the checkbox fill in the blank a poll question or an open-ended question so i'll i'll choose checkbox so once again i in your question here
And then if you are done uh, typing the options, don't forget to click here, the correct answer. And then you may change the time allotted for the students to end. So I'm not going to change that time anymore. So the time allotment for this uh, question is 30 seconds. And then after that, click the button save. And then your two questions will appear here. So if you would like to rearrange these questions, there's a button here on the upper left corner which says click to, re to reorder. So Click on that and then the questions will appear. What you do to rearrange them, you just drag the questions. Just drag this bar. Okay. There. So if you're done reordering it, just click done. So that's it. The two questions I prepared were already rearranged. And then just repeat the process until you reach your desired number of questions. So now I'll, I'll click on fill in the blank. details will appear you, if you would like to put an image here for your quiz you may just drag it there or you may paste here an image link then select the language select the grade level say from grade 4 to grade quiz to be visible to everyone you just click that or the other option is it's private it's only visible to you and then click save and then you may you may still edit the quiz that you have created by clicking this button if you would like to save the quiz that you have created click this and then the folder or the collection which you created already beforehand will appear so here you will see that i that i have already two folders for two collections, namely Grade 4 Class and Science 4. So I'm just going to click on uh, Grade 4 Class. But if you are, if you would like to create a new folder or a new collection, just click here. And then just type in the name of the folder. So here you can see that, uh, that my quizzes, that my quiz have, has been added to my uh, grade for class collection or to my grade for class folder. After that, click the button then. So it's already saved. And then below, you can see here the preview of the questions that you have created. So how are your students going to play this in your class? So you click on this button, play live. And then pick your game mode if it is a team if it is, if it will be played as a team 
classic or test the description is below so i'll stick with classic and then just go over with the settings here and then after reviewing the settings click continue and then the game code will appear you are going to give this game code to your students and then if you are ready if the students are ready to play the game at the same time you're going to click the button start Okay, if you notice, your names appeared here already. Okay, at the count of three, I will click the start button. At the count of three kids, I will click the start button. Ready? One, two, three, go. Start the quiz. Just continue answering, kids. Okay, kids, I will click the end button already, the end game button already. For modesty, I will be clicking the end game button already. Okay, now you can see the top three scorers in our quiz game. So first, Dylan, second, Sean, third, Matt. Congratulations, kids. <laughs> 